so welcome back to a new part of Android tutorial in today's episode I am going to demonstrate how to get the battery status of an Android device you can get the battery status of an Android device by using the class called the battery manager class and the battery manager class will hand over all the battery status information to a sticky indent since it is, it is a sticky intent, there is no need to specify any broadcast receiver for getting that information from the sticky intent. Instead of, you can use the register receiver method and pass a null value for that broadcast receiver. So here I am going to create a Android application that will demonstrate, that will check your battery status like whether your battery is charging or it is discharging or it is charging via USB or it is charging via AC main etc. So I start a new Android project. It's an Android application project. I name it as battery status demo change the package name I change the target version as Android KitKat and I'm going to compile it with the Jelly Bean click next again click next create a blank activity and click finish okay now we got the project on the IDE here is the main activity XML file here I am going to add a button just add a button here go to the XML version change the text of the button here get my battery status get my battery status ok just add a button on the XML file now go to the src folder go to the main activity.java file here is a lot of unwanted override methods are here I just remove all that unwanted methods and the main activity class now extends the action bar activity I change it into activity extends activity ok so first I am going to create an object of button here button bn you need to import package for button now create bn equal to find view by id I'll dot id dot that button object name is button 1 id is button 1 is an object so you need to cast it into button now create action listener for the button bn dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener you need to import the import some package here ok also I create an object of context class here contact ctx I initialize that object with this ctx is equal to this ok so first I have to create an object of indent filter so indent filter I name it as if equal to new new indent filter with argument intent intent dot battery change use this intent dot action battery change ok now we have to create a sticky indent for getting the battery status information from the battery manager class so, so create stk indent here indent I name it as battery status battery status equal to 
use the context object so the context object is ctx dot there is a method called register receiver it is a sticky indent so there is no need to specify any broadcast receiver you can use the null instead of that broadcast receiver and specify that indent filter object it is if okay now we can get the battery status from this indent object so for that I create an integer here int status in status equal to battery status dot get get int extra you need to specify that name here the name is battery manager battery manager dot extra status battery manager dot extra status here it is and specify a default value here specify minus one as default value okay now we can check different battery status so first we have to check whether the battery is charging now so create a boolean boolean value here boolean boolean is is charging equal to status that integer value and is equal to that means it is compared with this value status equal to battery manager dot battery status battery status charging that means now it is charging if this if this value is true that means status equal to this value battery status charging it will return true that means now the boolean is true if your battery is in charging mode also create another boolean boolean discharging and equal to status and battery manager battery manager dot battery status discharging that means now the battery is discharging if your battery is discharging this will match that means status value of status and this battery manager dot battery status discharging this will match in that case it will return true that means discharging will get a getting true value okay now we have to check whether the battery is charged from a USB or the main if your battery is charging uh, you can check whether it is charged from a USB or it is charged from the AC main so create another boolean boolean USB charge USB charge equal to status and is compared with battery manager dot you can check it here if it is charged from USB you can use this battery plugged USB if it is charged from USB we got a true here on USB charge also check boolean boolean AC charge equal to status and is compare with 
battery manager compare with battery manager dot if it is charged from AC you can use this battery plugged AC if it is charged on the AC main this will return true and you got true here on AC charge variable ok now I declare another I create define another method for displaying the status public void display status public void display status with a string and argument string message display it using a toss toss dot make text get the base context get base context and provide a message here display that string here here the string is message ok provide duration for the toast toast dot long make the duration as long now make the toast visible using show method ok now here we have to check all this boolean with an if loop so first check if if it is discharging if it is charging that means this will return true if it is charging we just call that method display status and pass a message your battery your battery is your battery is now charging your battery is now charging and check the other one if it is discharging display it uh, display status display status and pass the message your battery is now discharging your battery is now discharging again check if it is charged from the USB if if USB charge again show the message display status display status your battery is now charged from USB and check the final one if it is charged from the AC main if it is AC charge your battery is now charged from AC main ok now we complete the coding now we have to check it so here I using the Jenny motion here I using the Jenny motion virtual device for checking so here we got a battery control panel here now the battery is charging you can discharging here and you can change the charging level into charging and discharging uh, now I make the status into charging since I am going to run it on a virtual device it always show if it is in charging mode it always show it is charging on USB uh, you can check the same application on a real device so now I am going to run this application so run us run us android application ok now the application is launched on my Jenny motion virtual device so I click the button here you can see your battery is now charging and it is charging from USB
okay now I change the battery status into now it is charging I change it into discharging now here the battery is discharging now click the button here you can see that battery is now discharging and okay okay guys I put all this code on my blog my blog URL is given under the description of this video or you can download this entire project from my blog okay please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates on your YouTube homepage and on your email okay thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial